Hello, it's Sarah. I have some updates for you guys. I've been busy. All right. So today I'm going to share what I decided to do with my dwarf Schaeffler. Um in a second. Um, I've been painting. I've done a couple of pots. I told you guys I'd be back with a tutorial. This is a Shara Reiner um, piece that I decided to do on here. And I did a kind of a like a little mini version of that. Today, I think I'm gonna try and paint a sugar skull on here. I have several pots prepped and ready to go. So I'm still playing. I may dot one, I don't know. Um, I have a lot of ideas um, for that. So I am coming, I'm gonna be doing that eventually. And I'm also gonna make another macrame. Also, um, I did do a video already. I'm gonna post it today for the unboxing of the carnivorous two plants that I had. It was a little kit. Anyway, I'll be posting that. Um, but yeah, but today's video is about my Schaeffler. So if you can notice, I chopped it. I didn't do it on camera, but this, these are my cuttings. So I'm, I want to, maybe I'm going to try and move this a little further away from me. So basically, remember, he was sticking out four different ways. I had four plants. So what I did, decided to do, and now this is all based on a video I saw at Prune This. And there aren't, the, these videos are very old. They're from like 11 years ago. But she's a horticulture lady, and they're short and sweet and to the point, and I trusted her, and I'm doing what she said. So I dumped, if you remember, he was in this black pot. So I ended up repotting him. It's probably, like, say this is a six inch pot. I think it's like a seven inch pot at the top. And then this is a five inch. Okay, so I downsized the pot. It was not root bound at all. There's plenty of room. All I did was break the, the soil away from the roots and I kind of placed it closer together. So now it's a more bushy looking plant and I cut it right down, you guys. I didn't, I wasn't afraid. I just lopped it off and now I cut it above the node, which is what she says to do. And the nodes are these little places Everywhere a leaf comes out is considered a node. And I just cut it and went for it. So I have four now tops. All the so this is repotted. I did use um I did buy some peat moss and perlite and made because that's what she wanted me to do for the cutting. So that's the next step. This is a it's dripping. I just watered this, got it soaking wet. It's it's a mix of peat moss and perlite only that I put in a nursery pot, an old nursery pot that I had because I'm gonna transplant that into, I'll show you. But anyway, the other thing I wanted to mention I did today as well, I had these mosquito bits. I ordered these on Amazon and I made the tea that it gives you a recipe. You put four tablespoons of the mosquito bits and I put them in these little, um, like kind of screen bags and you let it soak for 30 minutes in with a gallon of water. So I watered all my plants today. They didn't all need watering. So I made another batch and I'm just leaving it in the watering can and as they need water, I will use that. Now some of my plants, I definitely like to drench. So I'm going to do this because we do have fungus gnats. I was talking to you guys a little bit about those little sticky tapes that I use to catch them. But it doesn't do any good if you're catching them if they keep laying their larva in the wet soil. So this was something that I um, I wanted to do to, uh, so I watered this all with, with the mosquito bits in it. All right, and then you wash your hands and stuff. So this is ready to be, I'm gonna put this in my decorative pot. So this is the decorative pot that the big guy was in because I it matches the room and I'm so I'm just going to place this little pot inside the decorative pot 
put him right back up. So look, look how small he is, but he's way bushier. And I'm gonna put him right back up in the spot he was in. And hopefully this will now shoot out two new shoots from each of these stems and it'll keep getting bigger, 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 bigger. It'll start to, instead of just being four, that's what I'm, I'm gonna keep you updated. But this one's done. I did it. I topped him off and he's done. And he looks like a, just a more full chiflera now, you know, instead of being this leggy looking thing. So I'm just gonna set that down over here. And what she tells you to do with your cuttings, so I have, <clears throat> let me, I'll tip it down. I have this peat moss and perlite mixture that I have soaked. I don't want it to be crooked. It's so it's very wet and see it's it's actually dripping. And what she said to do is take off the bottom leaves. You don't propagate these evidently. Oh, see you can't see me. So I'm taking off the bottom leaves. And because I could actually probably cut this again, darn it, I think I could cut it again. They're kind of short. They're not as long as hers were. This one I'm going to cut again. I'm going to cut it again between these two, these nodes. So right in the middle, I'll show you. All right. So now these are cuttings. I'm gonna pull off the bottom leaves of this. And I'm gonna leave three or four. Because what happens if you keep the leaves on there, they will take the nutrition that you need to grow roots. So the idea is the fewer leaves, the more um, the plant will focus on growing roots. So I'm just sticking, I just stuck it right in the soil in this nice wet mix that I made. And that's it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the top part of that. Um, this has so much new growth on it because it is the growing season, but I'm cutting, I'm pulling off all the leaves, a lot of the leaves. And they may, some may die, she said, the new growth might die because it hasn't even been on the plant long enough to uh, kind of maintain itself. So I'm going to leave <clears throat> those three and I'm just sticking it right in the soil in the middle. She said to make little holes. I forgot to do that. All right, here's another cutting. Do I want to cut it? I don't. Like there's just I'm gonna try, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it right here. And take off these bottom leaves because the new growth is gonna come. So I only left three leaves on that one and I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm just gonna make a hole and stick it down in there. Um, this one, pull off the bottom leaves. It smells so good. I don't know why I like the smell of it. Maybe it smells like vegetables or something. And I'm going to stick this into the soil with a pencil. I'm going to make a little hole and stick it in. And she said all of them might not take. You know, I might not get roots on all of these, but some of them will. So I think that's everything. This is just leaves, and I don't think you can um, propagate these. I'm not worried about it. This is enough for me. I mean, you, you probably can. I mean, I wouldn't doubt if I stuck it in water, something would happen. I'm going to, I'm going to make two more. I'm going to propagate this one as well. Might as well pull off one more. Make a hole in the soil. So I'll have one, two, I'm on four already. Five, that's my fifth one. 
So I'm going to make like a nice bushy little chiflera here. Um, umbrella tree. So he has two and like some new growth and they might not live, but that's okay. And I'm going to make a hole and poke him right down in there. I'm kind of pushing it all the way down to the bottom. And then this is my last piece, just pull off the bottom. So I actually cut both, I'm sorry, both, all four of the um, tops that I cut off the original plant into two pieces each. So I have eight. And I've kept about three leaves on all of the um, stumps things. I don't know. I'm just going to stick this. I kind of don't have enough room for another one. Right here in the middle. Stick it right down in there. So now, this is what that looks like. <clears throat> I have, this was from something I used, um, a transplant that I made. So I have, see, this is just the nursery pot. I have the, um, I'll show you, this guy. It's just a white, I think one of my things I got from Lowe's was in here. And there we go. So I basically have two brand new plants that I'm really thinking are gonna be fine. She said, keep this in a, what's, what facing window did she say? I don't have a lot of choices when it comes to where I put these. It's gonna be in a bright indirect room, no direct sunlight. Um, I also, on the other ones I did, I put cinnamon. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have heard of that, like when you cut a plant if it has a wound, you can put cinnamon on top of it. Um, I did that on this guy. It smells really good. And I also have another question for you. So this is done. Like this is transplanted. It's ready to go. I'm just going to push the soil up against my little propagation pieces. <clears throat> the soil is soaked already. It's sphagnum. Uh, no, it's peat moss and perlite mix and it should do fine that's what she said so I have I have eight one two three four five six seven eight pieces in there <clears throat> right <clears throat> and this one is just the original four <clears throat> but I put the roots closer I put the stems closer together <clears throat> so it should be growing up straight and fuller and then hopefully I'm going to show you when these um, start to bud if they do. All right, you guys. I think that's it. Let me think. What else was I going to show you? Here's the other question. I got these at, we went to BJ's yesterday. I want to show you my outside gardening too. But these are mulch that is made from like recycled rubber. We were going to, we put them on the um, tomato plants outside. <clears throat> I just wondered if, if you, any of you guys know if this is toxic or if it's harmful to plants or if it's just because I also want to put something on something light on top of these, on top of the soil so that the um, fungus gnats don't have access to the soil to be able to lay their babies. That's it. All right, you guys. And thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back. Thanks for watching.